Welcome to this video on data preparation, which is actually one of the most fundamental parts of this course and probably one of the most useful skills you will ever learn in R because uh, data preparation is something that's highly unappreciated. But I guess the lack of skills in data preparation prevents you from doing so much cool stuff that you're actually able to do that I would say this is maybe the key lesson um, that you have to take from this uh, preparatory course, although it doesn't sound as fancy as like machine learning prediction, etc. But without having adequate skills in data preparation, you can't do anything in R or any other programming or statistical uh, language at all. So this is a really fundamental thing, and um, I hope you find it in interesting. So the main goals of this session is to first understand a concept um, that sounds incredibly boring, but it's super uh, important. It's the concept of tidy data. Tidy data refers to a particular form of data that we actually want to have. Problem is, most of the data that we found in real world are not tidy, they are messy. And data preparation is about turning tidy, uh, messy data into tidy data. In this context, we will um, also want to get an overview about the most common transformation routines. As you will learn, there are many ways a data set can be messy, uh, but there is only one way a data set can be tidy. And the good thing is that the routines we need to apply to the messy data sets to make them tidy are always the same. And there are actually six main transformation routines that you need to learn. And if you are able to implement them in R, I think you would probably be able to do 90% of all the transformation uh, challenges uh, in the real world. The last 10% are then actually easy to handle because then you can just Google them. And once you get a solid understanding of these six most fundamental transformation routines, the rest is going to be easy. And finally, um, we actually want to learn how to implement these routines using two particular packages in R, TidyR and DeepLyer, um, which are meant to address these um, uh, fundamental challenges of, of data preparation and to implement uh, the routines that I just mentioned. So that's the goal for today and let's get going. First of all, let's recap the place of data preparation in the whole working pipeline of, of data science and um, data analysis. We have already learned something about data visualization, but there we actually presuppose that the step of data preparation has been successful. Because remember that the example data sets we've used were already in a format that was immediately useful um, to pass to the ggplot functions and to make nice visualizations. The problem is that in the real world, the data you get does not look like this, at least usually. And data preparation is really about turning the data that you find in the real world into the data that we've been using in the session on visualization. Um, if you haven't watched the session on visualization, well, then you will know that there is a session on visualization in which you are using tidy data sets. The focus here will be on how to create these tidy data sets, which are basically the input for any further task, such as visualization or also data analysis um, and modeling. Good thing is for anything you do in R and probably most uh, other um, programming languages, you need tidy data. So data pre uh, preparation and processing is really the key thing that you always need to do. Problem is, um, while it is most, one of the most fundamental tasks in data set, uh, science, I would say it's largely underappreciated. So if you tell people, okay, hey, I'm taking this course on data science or I'm learning R, and people ask you, what are you learning? Um, I'm learning how to prepare data, then people will probably not watch at you with admiration. Um, I think that's actually a big problem. Um, because if you ask people why they're actually failing um, in doing something with a particular program or um, uh, programming languages, the problem is often with the kind of data they are using, that they are unable to turn the messy stuff they find in the internet or the real world into something they can actually work with. And this is nothing that's peculiar to, to students or applied researchers uh, like me. 
Um, there are various uh, questionnaires to professional data scientists and they usually say um, that on average they spend 80% of their work time on this task of data preparation and processing. So um, it's really important to understand well the concepts that help you to address this fundamental challenge because that challenge of data preparation is really one of the things you spend most of your time on.